Hello everyone, my name is Bethany and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the snowfall slouchy hat. For this hat you will need two uh, contrasting colors of medium white yarn and an eye hook. I use the eye hook but make sure that you use the hook that allows you to achieve the gauge. The gauge for this project is 14 double crochet stitches should be 14 inches long. So um, you should just need to go up, to, or up or down a few hooks if your gauge is different than mine. I do tend to crochet loose. And you do want it loose on this project. The, if you have a nice loose uh, band, then, the, then it will be nice and stretchy. So we're going to begin with the gray. And we're going to begin with a, by making a ribbed band. So we're going to start. So we're going to start with a chain 7. I've got my short little chain. And then you're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then you're going to half double crochet in every chain. And I just grabbed the back loop for ease of use. You can grab both loops. So that gives you a total of six half double crochet. So you're going to turn it and then you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in the same stitch going down in those two loops. And then for the next four stitches you're going to half double crochet in the back loop. So you're going to grab that back loop. You can half double crochet four times. Okay, and then when you get to that last stitch, you're going to have double crochet and go through both loops. You still get that ribbed look, but then you kind of anchor the two ends so they don't stretch out as easy. Okay, so that is how you do the rib end. So you're going to turn, half double crochet into the same stitch going through both loops. You're going to have double crochet four going through back loops. And then you're going to have double crochet in that last stitch going through both loops. Okay, so you're going to repeat that row until you have 46 total stitches. Your band should be very stretchy and it should be about 15 inches before you stretch it. That measurement is only accurate if you haven't attempted to stretch it around your head because it doesn't, it doesn't snap back to what it was before you stretched it. So. Um, just lay it down on something flat and measure and if it's about 15 inches it should stretch. If you have the correct gauge it should stretch about 4 inches. So it's pretty stretchy. Okay, so um, complete that. You're going to do 46 rows to about 15 inches and I will meet you back here. Okay, so I finished my band. You can see here that it's pretty short but look at that stretch. So it stretches and it doesn't completely snap back after you've been wearing it so you want to make it a little bit snug just so that your your slouchy hat doesn't get all stretched out after you've been wearing it a little while. So now that we have the band completed you want to fold it and I fold it like this so that I can use that loop to pull it through so that the loop is on top and then stick your hook in the end here pull that loop through because we're going to be using that loop to sew it together. So pull it through like that, and then line them up, and then slip stitch all the way across so that it forms a band. And this yarn, I love this yarn, but it does split a little bit. I'm kind of losing it. Okay, so I get it in the last one there. Okay, so I've sewed it into a band by slip stitching the ends together. 
And now I'm going to turn it so that the seam is on the inside. And then you can continue on here without having to cut and rejoin. So to move on, we're gonna, we're gonna single crochet around the top to give us a foundation to keep moving on. Now because you're working um, with the stitches going vertically, it's a little bit different than just working into a regular stitch. So what I like to do is I like to work three stitches per two rows. So you can see that that's two rows right there. There's one row, there's two rows, and then I'll work one, two, three across the top. And then you do want to increase every six or seven stitches um, and then count as you go so that you can have 72 stitches all the way around. So you're going to chain one, single crochet, and then continue around um, keeping track. And a good way to kind of make sure that you're on the right track is if you fold it in half. And if by the time you get here you have about 35 stitches then you know that you're on the right track. Okay, so that brings us all the way around to the beginning. So you want to slip stitch into that first stitch and join. Okay, so that's the foundation. And now you want to grab your second color. And I'm going to be working with navy blue here. So you're going to join. And just a tip, something that I have learned or figured out is when you're changing like doing stripes or changing colors um, it looks a little bit nicer if you actually finish finish that last stitch with the new color whoops getting some splitting there Finish the stitch with the last, with the with the new color, and then slip stitch, and continue that way. And it looks just a little bit neater if you do it like that. Okay. So the next, so that so the single crochet was the round one of the body, round two of the body of the hat. We're gonna chain two, and we're gonna double crochet in each stitch around. So that would that should give you 72 stitches if you were able to achieve the 72. The stitch count is important because um, the pattern is worked in multiples of four. So if you wanted to size up or size down, just make sure that that foundation row of single crochet is in multiples of four. So we're going to single crochet or double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so we've come all the way back to the beginning and you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. The chain doesn't count, so join with the first double crochet. Okay, so if you need to, and I'm prone to working one stitch or skipping stitches, you know, so make sure you do count. That will prevent having to pull out later if you miss count because the count is important for making sure that the pattern works up. So... Now we're going to work the snowfall. It looks a little bit like a, a knit stitch. I really like how it looks. So you're going to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Here is where we're going to join. We're going to bring up the gray from before and I need to get this straightened out here. So a tip for keeping, because you're going to be switching back and forth, to keep for a tip to keep your yarns from getting tangled is to keep one up here, one right here. And then when you're changing, you always pull the, the dark, sorry, the dark to the back and the, the gray to the front, and then they'll never get tangled, they won't get tangled. So I've worked two. Now you're gonna drop the navy to the back and you're gonna pick up the gray. 
and we're not even going to do a whole stitch. That's what kind of makes it look like a little V, like a little knit stitch. So you're just going to go through, grab it like you're working a single crochet, put it on your hook, then you're going to drop it, pick up your navy again, and finish the stitch. And it's going to get all loose and wonky, so just kind of tighten it and move on. So you can see that it looks like a pretty little knit stitch, kind of like a V shape. And then you're going to carry the you're going to carry the gray throughout. So lay it behind the stitch. You're going to go into the next stitch and work three more single crochet carrying the gray behind. And you're going to actually work around it. So when you see the back it's not hanging and you and you don't and you don't necessarily have to work it in the stitch since you're not going to be seeing the the inside but I like to carry it inside. So you can see it looks like a little V there. So we've worked three. So now we're gonna we're gonna the, it's in multiples of four, so it's a knit stitch, crochet stitch, and then you're gonna work three of the blue and then followed by another one of the gray. So we've dropped so we've dropped the, the navy to the back, picked up the gray, you're gonna get a loop on your hook and then finish with the navy. And then kind of pull everything tight. And single crochet three. If to have to, you can pull it tight. Mine actually kind of gets too tight and I have to go in there and pull it up and out so we can see it. Okay, so I'm, I'm working that stitch again, so I'm going to drop back the navy, pull the gray up, and get it on your hook like you're working a single crochet and then finish the single crochet with bl blue. So you're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So you're going to have every, you're going to work three navy followed by one gray. And then work that all the way around the hat. Okay, so we worked it all the way around. You should be left with one stitch left. So you're going to see I'm crocheting that last stitch with navy blue. And then you finish that first snowfall round. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so for the next round, you're going to repeat the double crochet stitch in each stitch around. So you don't need to carry your gray. You can if you want to, but I just drop it and just work with the navy for the rest. So join with the slip stitch to finish the round. You're going to chain two and then double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so we finished that round with double crochet. You're going to join with a slip stitch. Now, if you want the pattern to go straight up with those little snowflake colors, you can continue to repeat that, that row that we did first. However, if you want them to um, be off center, then you need to start the second row differently. So you're going to start it by working that color change first. So you're going to change chain one with the navy and then grab it like that very first. And then the rest will be the same. You'll work three stitches in navy, followed by that the color change there. And when you finish, you'll come all the way back to the end and work three navy to finish out the round and join with that first color changed. So that's the pattern. So you're going to repeat the row of DC, the snowfall row, row of DC, snowfall row. So the first one you're going to work two, sing two single crochet, then the snowfall. The second time you work the snowfall round, you begin with the snowfall and then continue that same way around. So I want you to repeat this sequence until you have 17 total rows, and that includes the gray row. So you should be ending on a snowfall row. You should have just completed a snowfall row, and that would be row 17. And I will meet you back here. Okay, so you should have 17 total rows. Again, that's including that first gray one. And we are going to finish this hat. So to close it, we are going to work one row of alternating double crochet and a double crochet decrease. So work a single crochet in that, or a double crochet in that first stitch. Work a double crochet decrease which takes up the next two stitches. 
So repeat that all the way around the hat. Okay, so we finished that round by alternating a double crochet decrease and a double crochet. So join with a slip stitch. And then for the next row, we're going to work a chain two and we're going to work double crochet decreases all the way around. So 24 double crochet decreases. Okay, so we finished that row of double crochet decreases all the way around. So you can join it at the beginning with a slip stitch and then you can tie off. You can also cut the gray too. You're going to tie it off and then you're going to weave those ends in later. Now to finish the hat, you're going to take a length of your navy and you're going to thread it through a large yarn needle. And then make sure you have the hat inside out. And then starting anywhere, but I like to start at the seam. Um, so a running stitch in and out every other stitch. Okay, and once you've come back to the beginning, you just take the two ends and cinch it shut. And then tie a sturdy knot. I just do like a double granny knot or square knot. Okay. And then you still need to go through and weave in your ends, but that is your finished hat. And you can um, finish with a pom-pom on top. All right, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. See ya.